Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the CO-EX330-K HDMI extension kit. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to share all of your HDMI media content with a remote location up to 330 feet away over a single coaxial RG6U cable. The product also supports cascading multiple receiver units off of a single transmitter so you can create an entire network to share that content across. The kit includes a set of infrared blasters for both locations that will pick up the remote control signals and share those bi-directionally across that coaxial cable to give you complete control over your content. The product fully supports 1080p media content and is both HDMI 1.3 and HDCP 1.1 compliant and provides EDID switch settings so you can make whatever adjustments are needed to accommodate a wide variety of media. Now as part of this overview, I always like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at both of the modules and explain the connections you'll need to make to use it with your own equipment. I'll list the features and functions the product provides. And finally, I'll come back and actually do a demonstration right here to show you just how easy this product will be to use. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you open up the box, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module, a set of infrared blasters for each of those modules, a single power supply for each of the modules. It's a 5 volt, 1 amp DC power supply. You'll find a warranty card and a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other details you'll need to understand about the product to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned, next I'll take a closer look at the product, and then I'll give the specifications, and we'll dive into the demonstration. Inside the kit, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module, two sets of infrared blasters, one set for the receiver and one set for the transmitter, two power supplies. These are standard 5 volt, 1 amp DC power supplies. You can simply plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the module and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find a warranty card and a full instruction manual that lists specifications, connection diagrams, and other details you'll need to understand about this product to use it correctly. Each of the infrared blaster kits has two different modules, and you'll notice they're slightly different. This one has a smaller head, and this one has a larger head. The smaller head is actually the infrared transmitter, and the bigger head is the infrared receiver. And it's really important you plug these into the correct ports on both of the modules for proper operation. Both the transmitter and receiver modules feature full metal enclosures, which make them incredibly durable and help to eliminate any outside interference that may cause issues with the electronics inside. I'll start with the transmitter module. On the front of the module, starting on the left, you'll find a link light. The minute you make the coaxial connection between these two modules and power them up, they'll check that connection. And once it's been verified, this LED will come on, letting you know you have a solid connection between your modules. To the right of that is an HDMI input port. This connects to whatever media device you'd like to share the content from with your remote location. That's a standard HDMI port. To the right of that are two 3.5 millimeter ports that are used with the included infrared blaster kits labeled IR receiver and IR transmitter, and it's important you plug those into the right port. The infrared receiver is the larger of the two, and the infrared transmitter is the smaller of the two. To the right of that are two EDID switches that can be used to adjust the frame rate and audio style for the media content you'd like to transmit to the remote location. Those are fully explained in the manual. On the rear of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find a power LED. The minute you add power to the unit, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking the electronics, and once it passes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know the module's ready to use. To the right of that is a DC input port, and that's used with the included power supply. You'll plug it into a wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection, which plugs in right there. And finally, to the right of that is the coaxial connection for the RG6U cable you'll connect between the transmitter and the receiver. One end plugs in here, the other end plugs into the receiver. The receiver has very similar components. On the front, there's a lock LED. That indicates, again, you've got a solid connection between the modules. To the right of that is an HDMI output port. This connects to whatever monitor you'd like to enjoy the content at your remote location. Again, a standard HDMI connection. To the right of that, two more infrared blaster ports, infrared receiver, infrared transmitter. The receiver has the larger unit, the transmitter has the smaller unit. On the rear of the unit, you'll find a power LED on the left-hand side. Again, once you add power, it'll go through the power on self-test and light that LED once it passes that test. To the right of that is the DC input port. That's used with the second power supply. And to the right of that are two more coaxial connections, coax in and loop out. Coax in is where you're going to connect the other end of the cable from the transmitter. If you'd like to cascade a second receiver off of this, you'll run another coaxial cable from here to the coaxial in on that second receiver so you can daisy chain series of receivers to create a network to display the content. 
The O-Ray CO-EX330-K is compatible with most modern HDMI media sources, including media players like Roku, game consoles, computer systems, streaming devices, and security cameras. The product's features include full support of HD media content, you can extend the distance up to 330 feet between the transmitter and the receiver. It fully supports HDMI 1.3 and HDCP 1.1, and it allows you to cascade multiple receiver units to create an entire network to share the content across. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a small media player that's currently looping a video, and that's the content I'd like to send to my remote location. Over here I've set up a monitor, and this represents the remote location where I'd like to enjoy that content. And these can be up to 330 feet apart. I have the transmitter module here, and the receiver module here. Now the first set of connections I'll make are to the transmitter module, and I'll start by connecting my media source up to the HDMI input port. I've already connected a cable up to the media player, and I'll plug that into the HDMI input port of the front. Now I'm ready to connect up my receiver. I've got another HDMI cable connected to the monitor, and I'll plug that into the HDMI output port of the receiver. Now I can add power to both modules. I've already plugged in the power supplies, and the end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs right into the DC input port on the transmitter, and the same for the receiver. Now, the minute I add power to both of these modules, they immediately start an internal power on self-test where they're checking all the electronics to make sure everything is working okay. The transmitter is also checking the resolution of the media content that it's going to send to the receiver, and the receiver is checking the resolution of the monitor. So when I make that final connection over the coax cable, they can exchange information to send the best possible picture downstream to your monitor. Now, the only connection I'm missing at this point is the coaxial cable between these two. And I have a short cable right here, it's an RG6U, and I'll connect it to the single port on the transmitter. And on the receiver, you'll notice there are two BNC connections. One is the cable in, the other is for daisy chaining other receivers off this receiver. So make sure you connect it to the input port. And the minute I make that connection, both the transmitter and receiver handshake, they're exchanging information about the resolution of the media content, and then it'll send that media content to the monitor. Now the amazing thing is that these can be up to 330 feet apart, and I've got a short cable here, but that gives you plenty of distance between your primary and secondary site, and it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray CO-EX330-K HDMI extension kit helpful because this product was engineered to make it incredibly easy for you to share all of your HDMI media content with a remote location up to 330 feet away over a single coaxial RG6U cable, which provides increased reliability and shielding, making it the perfect choice for both commercial and residential installations. And the fact that you can cascade multiple receivers off of a single transmitter means you can create an entire network to share that content across by simply daisy chaining the receivers. The inclusion of the infrared blaster kits give you complete control over the content being sent, and the product fully supports 1080p HD content, and it's both HDMI 1.3 and HDCP 1.1 compliant, and has e-ditch switch settings so you can make accommodations for a wide variety of media content. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching.